Talk to Leela, northeast of the Drano Bank, and accept the quest about investigating the pyramid. Go to the pyramid south of Uza, which you can purchase a carpet ride to, or use a ferry ring code DLQ and run east. Dead east, that is. Make sure you bring water and a means of getting back to Draenor. Rummage through skeleton remains on the ground and kill them until you have four items. A cannabis jar, pyramid, journal, mummy hand, and the scroll of the dead. Not all skeletons will drop them, so just keep killing them until you get them. Once you get the items, teleport back to Draenor and talk to Leela again. Talk to Leela again and ask her about reconstructing the mummy. Tell her you can handle it yourself and go back to the pyramid. Once at the pyramid, open the imposing door in the northwest and go south. Kill the golem with a crush attack style weapon. You can use a fist if you don't have a crush weapon. The golem's easy anyway. After defeating the golem, head downstairs. Once downstairs, head west and pick up a cannabis jar. Head all the way east and pick up another three cannabis jars. Also, pick up the mummy with no hands nearby, and after picking up all these four jars and the mummy, head back to the stage you came down and then head south to the room with the multicolored tiled floor. To get across the tiles, find a path of either red and yellow tiles or green and blue tiles. Remember, that's red and yellow or green and blue. Head to the room with the sarcophagus and put the mummy inside it and pray to the broken statues. If you can't pray to a statue, don't worry, you can still finish the quest. Make sure you have the required items for this next part. Use the spice on the wine and replace a broken jug. Use the grain on the pot and replace a broken pot. Repair the broken chair and table and add the canopy jars you found to the shelf to the west. Go east up the stairs and in the corridor kill the shadow. After killing the shadow, continue east and light the south lamp in the room and kill the shadow. Repeat this process for the north lamp, then the west lamp and then the east lamp. Make sure you do it in that order, by the way. Head to the sarcophagus and talk to the queen. Talk to her and then build a statue nearby. Keep clicking on the statue to get more XP. Talk to the queen again till she says you've done enough. Go back to Draenor, talk to Leela and complete the quest! Kind of. By kind of, I mean you have officially completed the quest because, well, the pop-up screen came up. But there is a mini quest afterwards which you need to complete if you want to be able to do the quests later on, such as Do No Evil and The Curse of Arav. So, I'm going to tell you how to do this mini quest. To start the mini quest, talk to Ali Morrisane in Alcarid with an activated Ring of Karos and a Pestle and Mortar. Ask about the tomb, they'll ask about the mummy's personality. He'll ask you for a glass of Skirk juice. Head south to the Sorcerer's Garden building and grab a big glass from the shelf in the house if you don't have one already. Get three skirt fruit from any four gardens and once you have three skirt fruit, use the pestle and mortar with the big glass in your bags to get skirt juice. Take the skirt juice back to Ali and he'll give you a piece of paper with the mummy's name on it. Whilst wearing the activated ring of Karos, talk to him again and he'll give you another piece of paper. Run north between Alcarid and Varrock and get an Alcarid flyer from a little kid. Talk to Reldo in Varrock Castle and he'll give you a scroll. Go back to the Queen in the Pyramid and talk to her about her name and personality to complete the construction!